Transportation is a big deal. In discussions with the utilities, we've decided that cars should be electrified and that the utilities will provide it in exchange, they're going to promote carbon capture and removal. So we want to Okay, well, we'll start with the electrification of our transport system. Uh, so we're gonna do this two ways. Um, first, we're gonna do it on top of everything that's been happening. So imagine a world that we have all these actions already, we're going to boost electrification Watch what happens. What happens to temperature? Nothing. What happens? What are the lines that move over on the left? So new technology, we need more thorium fission. So we build more nuclear fusion to supply the electricity. The red line of oil shifts down minutely and coal goes up a tiny bit. On this planet, when we need new sources of electricity, where do we get it? New technology and coal. It's somewhat more efficient to electrify a vehicle. You need less fuel. The, the, what we call the well-to-wheel efficiency is somewhat better. It's more efficient to burn these fossil fuels in a power plant or get some thorium fission in a power plant than in the front of your car. It's somewhat more efficient, but this is a world that still gets a lot of its energy from natural gas and from coal out in the future, so it does not significantly change the temperature. We also did a test where it would be interesting, if it was the first thing that was suggested in the same way, it would not, it would improve, increase coal and somewhat decrease oil, but um, like other analysis is showing right now, it does not significantly reduce long-term temperature.